This video is in continuation to my earlier video in which I talked about the first two steps of methodology of econometry. These steps were in the first step we established a statement of theory. In the second step we converted this theory into a mathematical model. In the third step we converted this mathematical model into an econometric model. Going on to the fourth step to estimate the econometric model given by y is equal to a plus bx plus u, we need to estimate the numerical values of a and b. For that we need data. So let us suppose this is the data. I have taken a hypothetical example. In the fifth step we have to estimate this econometric model. We run a regression through the data set to obtain the estimates of a and b. Let us suppose that after running the regression we got the following regression line y dash is equal to 1037 plus 0.602x. Here note that y dash indicates that it is an estimate. We need to know how to interpret this regression line. The slope coefficient of 0.602 suggests that for the given sample period an increase in income of 1 rupee led on average to an increase in consumption of around 0.602 rupees. So the fifth step involved the estimation of the model. In the next step, we have to test the hypothesis. We need to develop a suitable criteria to find out whether the estimates obtained reflect a good approximation of the theory that is being tested. We had taken the Keynes consumption function in which MPC was expected to be positive but less than 1. In our example, MPC has turned out to be 0.602. Before accepting this result, we need to make sure that 0.602 is significantly less than 1. So we use hypothesis testing and if the model does not refute the hypothesis under consideration then we accept the model as a reliable one. Forecasting is the seventh step. Once the model is accepted we can use it to predict the mean value of y for a given value of x. So this was our model. Through this regression line we can see that when income had a specific value say 3500 what would be the expected consumption? So when we put 3500 as x, we get y dash is equal to 3144. This means that given that the person has an income of rupees 3500, on an average he would take out approximately rupees 3144 for consumption expenditure. The final step involves using the model for control or policy purposes. If the government decides that the optimal consumption level for an economy as a whole should be rupees 25,000 crores, then it needs to figure out what level of income should the nation produce so as to achieve this desired consumption level. So by using an appropriate combination of fiscal and monetary policy mix, the government can manipulate the control variable x to produce the desired level of the target variable y. Notice that the 8th step is exactly the reverse of the 7th step. In the 8th step, we already know what level of consumption we want as in the dependent variable would now become the target variable and then we will control the independent variable accordingly. So these were the 8 steps and they together describe the methodology used in an econometric analysis. To know more about econometrics, please go on to my next video. Thank you.